Hi everyone, this is Melissa with Imagine Today sharing with you a very simple technique that's great for a beginning crafter. I'll be using some white cardstock, some vellum, my VersaFine Claire inks, and the stays on the new stays on pigment inks, as well as Memento ink. I'm taking these um, peonies from Mama Elephant, laying them on my white cardstock in a misty. For this, you will need some kind of stamping platform as you'll be reusing um, the positioning of those stamps. I'm taking my Memento Angel Pink ink. I, you, if you don't have Angel Pink, you can use another light ink. Um, I find that this ink in particular though is very useful when you want a light stamping for no line coloring and for the technique that I'm showing you today. I do realize that when I lift my Misty, I missed a spot right there in the center of the, the peony, which I do add a little bit more pressure to. Now I put my vellum inside my Misty and I didn't change the position of those stamps and I'm using the Snowflake Pigment ink from um, Tsukaneko. This ink is a little bit sticky but that is fabulous because it gives you a wonderful impression on your paper. You don't get any smearing. I'm putting a lot of pressure on these flowers since I have so many in there and then you can see it is very sticky. I pull off the vellum and you can see that beautiful impression that I get. Now I do want a very bold white outline on this vellum because this is going to be the front of my card and I wanted to overshadow the um, technique that I'm going to use below. So I stamp again and you can see I get a beautiful impression on those peonies on the vellum. Working on vellum is difficult because it's a slick surface and oftentimes it's very hard to get a clean impression but the stays on the new stays on inks are so wonderful on it. Now I'm taking my stays on ink cleaner and a dry cloth and simply rubbing off that ink and then I do rinse them under water just to make sure all of the ink cleaner is off as well. Now I'm taking my VersaFine Claire, some of my favorite inks, and this happens to be one of my favorite colors, Cheerful, to um, color the center of those peonies. And I'm just using a small sponge dauber to do so. And you see I smear that ink in a little circle right in the center of the flowers. And then I move on to the Charming Pink VersaFine Claire with a different sponge dauber, and I also add that to the flower. I'm not concerned if I go out of the lines at all because what's going to happen when you add your vellum layer is the vellum layer, layer is going to define your flowers. This is just a guideline for where I want to put ink. So I'm going to finish that last peony with the Charming Pink VersaFine Claire and Sponge Dauber and then I'm going to move on to Green Oasis which is a fabulous bright green color. And I'll be using that Sponge Dauber again just to color a little leaf and stem of this flower. Now I will tell you I like the addition of the green so much that I do go back in and stamp more leaves later on top of the vellum and on the cardstock in the same fashion. But you can see when I add the vellum to the top of this card it really defines those flowers and gives a very unique kind of uh, artistic look to the flowers. Now I'm adding a sentiment to the vellum and because I'm stamping on vellum again I'm going to reach for my stays on pigment ink and this happens to be a green color. I will put the description and links to the colors that I use so that you can use them yourself. And I'm simply going to push down on my Misty again to get a nice impression where all of that green ink comes out beautifully on the vellum. I just can't get over how beautiful it stamps on vellum. And here you can see that nice crisp stamping. So I'm going to speed up my video just a little bit here as I'm just adhering the inked background to my A2 size card base with Tarot Tape. Tarot Tape is a fabulous double-sided uh, sticky tape that you can add um, to the back of your cards to really get a very well adhered panel. Uh, there are other adhesives on the market that don't work quite so well but I assure you that once it's down it is down and it will not lift off of your card. This happens to be an A2 size card. I did have a little extra on the bottom that I ended up trimming off as I cut the card just a little too big. Now I'm taking my on point glue, my favorite glue for using with vellum as it dries very clear. I'm adding it to the center of those peonies and then adhering my vellum to that 
Vellum is tricky to adhere because you can often see your glue behind, but when you use on point glue and because I'm adding it to the center of those flowers and smushing the vellum down, you can't tell that I've adhered it using glue. Next I'm adding some sequins and again I reach for my on point glue. I love on point glue for adhering sequins. I never have them pop off in the mail when I use it. And last, I'm going to add a few shimmer dew drops using my um, Pico Irresistible Embellisher, and this happens to be shimmer. And I push, I um, push a little bit out onto a paper towel first, so I don't get bubbles. And here is the finished card. It's be beautiful way to add color to a card without having to add um, any markers or pencils if you're uncomfortable with coloring. I hope you enjoyed today's tutorial and you'll join us at Imagine again.